In this video, I'm going to show you how to create drawings from our different parts. Now, if we are using Fusion 360 in our browser. This is one of the limitations um, that are in the browser-based Fusion 360. We need to be doing this on a desktop version of Fusion 360. What we need to do is we need to open up our uh, machine part right here, our cast part, and we need to go into our data panel and you'll be able to find this on our website. So just download this model and upload it into Fusion 360, like what was shown in an earlier um, video. Uh, and we need to open up, open this up, and we have this in our uh, workspace. What we need to do then is we need to change our workspace from our design workspace, which is what we've been using, down to our drawing workspace. And inside your drawing, you can either choose from a design or from animation. For this, we want to choose from design. Click on that, we get a little window that pops up uh, to create our drawing. And it's gonna ask us the sheet size. We wanna make our sheet size to be a size A, which is 11 by eight and a half. There are two size A's that we are offered. Uh, eight and a half by 11 is putting your picture or your drawing in a uh, portrait and 11 by eight and a half is putting your drawing in landscape. So we want to put our drawing in landscape like that. And I press OK. And this will bring up our drawing sheet. When we draw this or when we start this, that we have our base model, our base view. What we want to do is I'm going to change our orientation to the top so that it is it looks like that in that orientation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click my base view down in this lower left hand area right there. We will be able to change this um, later if need be. Uh, with this, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have our visible edges selected. And we also want to make sure that our tangent edges are full length. Press OK. We'll see that we have our line drawing in there. The next thing we want to put in is we want to put in our projected view. So this is our base view. We want to put in our projected view. So we click on our projected view up there. We click on our parent view and we go up to the top and then we click there. We go out to the right for our right side view. We'll click there and then we click over here for our isometric view. Press the green uh, check mark to complete that. So in our drawings, we have three different uh, sides of this. This is called our orthographic projections. You have your top view, your front view, and your side view. This one right here, where it's at an angle, a 30 degree angle, this is our isometric view. Uh, for this instance, what I want to do is I am going to click and drag this view down just a little bit because we are gonna to need to uh, squeeze a section view up top here. So let's say we wanted to take a look at the inside of this part. What we can do is we can actually make a cutaway view of this by selecting our section view. So up here, I'm gonna select our section view. I'm gonna uh, come down and select uh, this top. And you're gonna notice that our cursor now has an A with a little center point in there. We wanna highlight that uh, center point, but we don't wanna click yet. And I'm going to bring my cursor over to the right-hand side. I'll click there. Then I'm going to bring it on over to the left-hand side. And after I selected a point over there and a point over there, I'm gonna click on my green check mark. And that is going to create my cutaway view from my top view of my part. When we click on that, we press OK, and we're going to have a little note there. What we want to do is we want to move this around a little bit just to be able to squeeze everything in here. That up. Slide our top view down just a little bit. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a detail view. So let's say I want to take a smaller look at this area right here. I'm going to select my detailed view. I click on that and I need to select 
on my section view right here. That's going to be our parent. And our detail view is going to do a uh, circular uh, cutaway version that you may have seen before. So we're going to select the center point of that little arc right there for our center. And I'm going to draw a circle, which is the size of that boundary. I'll click and I bring that over. When I press OK, we can see that now this zoomed in version or this zoomed in detail is of this area right here. I want to keep things fairly organized, so I'm going to move that up and I'll move this view over just a little bit. Now we have our different views. We had our orthographic projection, which was our top, our front, and our right side view. We have our section view to do cutaways, and we have a detailed view to be able to see smaller detailed areas. We also have our isometric view over here to see if uh, we wanted to have a somewhat 3D looking image. The next thing we want to do is we want to dimension different parts of our part. And we can do that over here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, dimension um, a diameter. So if I click on the diameter dimension, click on dimensions, click on diameter dimension, I want to select this outside edge and we will place that dimension right there. I'm going to put in another dimension, except this one is going to be a radius dimension. And my radius dimension, I'm going to select my inside or sorry, not on my inside circle. I want to select the uh, inside of this uh, fillet right there. And I'm going to bring up that dimension right there. So the difference between our radius and our diameter is our diameter has that diameter symbol in the front and our radius has an R. Let's say I wanted to find the dimension or the um, Diameter of that circle, go to dimension, diameter dimension, and click on that edge and we'll bring that out. And we know that this is diameter because of our, our symbol right there. So if our um, dimensions are in the wrong area and we wanna move them, we're able to do so. We click it and then we select that little gray circle right, or that gray dot and we're able to move it around to make sure that everything is nice and neat. The next thing I want to do is I want to select or I want to create ordinate dimensions. And what an ordinate dimension will do is it'll allow us to be able to select the center of this circle and set that as our zero. And we can dimension how high up that hole is and how low that hole is in relation to that center point right there. So I'm going to go to dimensions and I'm going to click on ordinate dimension. I'm going to select the center point of that circle as my zero. And I'm going to bring my zero over to the uh, left hand side. For this top circle, I can zoom in and I'm going to select the center point of that circle and bring that over there. And we can see that that hole is 1.24 inches away from that line. We'll do the same thing down here, select the center of that circle and select that, and that hole is also 1.24 inches uh, below that. So after you have your ordinate dimensions in, uh, we have two more dimensions that we'd like to go over. The first one is going to be our angular dimension. So I wanna find the angle of this edge from vertical. I can zoom in and we select our angular dimension up there. I click on this line or that edge right there and I also select on that second edge right there and bring it up. And we can see that this angle or this line is 27 degrees from vertical right there. The last one that we wanna do is we wanna do a height dimension is this would just be a straight linear dimension. So if I wanted to find the height of this part, I can select the bottom line, select the top line. And when I bring it over, we select that and this is 1.75 inches away. Okay. The last thing we wanna do is we want to put in some notes and the notes that we're gonna put in is um, that we do not want to um, paint on the machine surface. 
we'll say that this is a watertight um, part um, and that this outside surface is going to be machined and we don't want any paint there so that we can make a good seal. We can put a note on there. So we select our leader note. We're going to come in and we're going to select that edge, which will put in our leader, which is a little arrow, and we can specify that endpoint right there. And we can type in a note. So we'll put machine surfaced, machined surface, A C H I. Machine surface, do not paint. Hit close. And if we want to put in a note without a leader, we can just hit our text and we draw our box or our text box and we can type in there, do not paint machine surfaces. Hit close. So in this video, not only did we learn how to place our different types of views, uh, as well as what our different types of views are, um, we also learned how to do our different types of dimensions, such as our, uh, our diameter dimensions, our radius dimensions, we have our ordinate, and then we also have our linear and angular dimensions. Um, and then we also learned how to put in our notes, um, both with leaders and without leaders. When you're done with that, save that and continue on to the next drawings.